Hello and welcome to Bay of Funny Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath and intuitive card reader. And first things first, putting out my smudge. I've smudged all my cards, my rocks, myself. And now it's your turn. <clears throat> this is Sweet Grass and Sage. It's called the Smudge. It's an indigenous custom used by all indigenous peoples in celebrations and ceremonies. And is a very, very sacred grass that grows um, on my front lawn. I don't know what I'm going to do if I run out before through the winter and have to wait till spring again. But this is to clear out all the energies and it literally clears out 95% of airborne bacteria in your home. And it clears away all our dark, heavy, tired, uh, oppressive energies that, that sometimes weigh us down as well. Okay. So that was for you guys trying to just share the love. <clears throat> all right. Let's get to it. We'll just set that to the side. All right. To start off with, I'm here today to do a five-card Oceanics tarot spread using my Oceanic Tarot deck. And it is by Jane Wallace, written by her, and illustrations are by Jane Delaford Taylor. Just to put that out there, got to give credit. And at the very end of the five-card spread, I pull one card from my deck of tarot, and that credit goes to, written by Bridget Reed, card illustrations by Colin Howard. So this is a five-card spread. As I said, I'm doing this for the sign of Libra, mid-monthly September. First card, overall energy. Second card, finances and wealth. Third card, heart, love, and romance. Fourth card, challenges. And the fifth card is your message from spirit. And then at the very end, we do the overall significator for the reading. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> Just to start out, thank you for all your, your views. I'm glad that you're here to, with me today. Um... Also, thank you for your shares and your likes. Um, if you find that uh, this is a general reading, so it may resonate with you on a personal level. It may not resonate with you on a personal level. If you find you want to personalize it, I do offer that service of personal readings. And what you get for that is a video very much like this. It usually runs about an hour long on a larger spread. Um, then I give you the keys to view the video. And it's saved under private on YouTube. And you can re-watch this video as often as you'd like. All that. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, there was one other thing right there in the edge. Um, what was it? I can't even remember. It went. Out. Oh, yes. If you're new to YouTube, um, you see the red subscription button at the bottom of this window? Just click on that. It's free. It just links up with your email. It will alert you via your email notifications every time Bay of Funny Fortunes posts anything new. Okay, so there's that. All right. And I think, oh, and if you want a private reading, if you read the description box below, it explains everything there. You basically send me off an email and say you'd like to have a reading. But please read the description box first. It only takes a second. All right, let's get on with the reading here, Libra. First card that I pulled for you, your overall energy is sadness. It's a five of cups. Sadness of the heart. The cups are all about emotions in the heart. Okay, there's your overall energy. Okay, so your keywords for this card are unhappiness, dejection, negative thoughts, confusion, hurt, disruption, and abandonment. Um, nudge right off to tell some of you, you, if you haven't just gone through a breakup, you're thinking and contemplating of a breakup, or you've just gone through one. And these are the emotions that you're going through right now. Um, for maybe a few of you, I'm feeling much to say you have had the rug pulled from under you. You did not know this was coming. You did not see this coming. You feel abandoned. You feel confusion and deep pain and very much hurt. And it has disrupted your life a lot. Of course it would have. These things happen um, when we go through these kind of things, breakups and separations. This one, for some of you in particular, there were no warning signs as far as you were concerned. You thought everything was fine. But this other person had other ideas on the go. Light years ahead of you and you had no idea. This wasn't anything that you brought upon yourself. This doesn't even really have anything to do with you, if you can understand that in a twisted kind of way. And what I'm saying is it's nothing that you did. You did everything right. This all had to do with the other person. Um, you weren't on the same level playing field. One of you was here and one of you was over here. You thought you were together. You were not together because you were led to believe that. All right. So this is not your fault. Um, <clears throat> the advice of this card for you is to look for and accept support. The situation is not hopeless. You will heal. Yes, you will. You will heal. Um, 
This card reveals a sadness due to the loss of a relationship, a work, friendship, and for some bereavement, which means somebody has passed away. Some of you are in the grieving mode right now. Um, this too shall pass. It doesn't feel like it right now. You think, how can anything this strong and intense ever go away once it comes into you and it envelops you? But you will. You will heal. And this will come to pass. You will... Um, uh, the whole process of grieving, when it's really deep and impacts every corner of your, every being of your life, you think, how can I ever continue to live this way? How can I continue to put one foot in front of the other this way every day? How do I get out of bed? It, never mind living and, and being part of life, it hurts to breathe. And um, what normally happens, I'm not going to sit here and go, you know, well, time will make it all better and it'll go away. It doesn't ever go away. What takes place is over time. You get better at dealing with the emotional part of it all. Um, you get you're you're not breaking down as often. You get you, you pull yourself back. Maybe you know you go to work every day and you've had some time off and now you're back. But all of a sudden through the day you get overwhelmed with thoughts and feelings for the person that you lost. Um, and at first you're not going to be able to control that. There'll be a lot of uh, upsets and breakdowns um, in in front of others. And and what will happen is after a while. You'll get better at controlling that. The pain will still be there, but you'll get better and better at controlling it um, and living with it on a day-to-day -day level so that nobody would know any different down the road that you've gone through something like this. Another meaning of this card is to let go of the past. For any of you that are holding on to any past things, any past regret, regret is a, is a cancer unto its, itself, an emotional cancer. Regret is all about what ifs and what could haves and, and what did or didn't. Um, these things, <sighs> regret is, is an emotion, but regret is a feeling that we can get drowned in very, very easily. Um, if I could only, if only, if only, if only I could go back, if only I could change that, if only I could undo that. You cannot. And some of you were feeling haunted by that. I need to deal with it. And you need to put it to bed or your whole life is going to be on hold. You cannot grow when you're being swallowed up with regret. You've got to find your own way of dealing with any regrets that you have. Don't like that card very much. Okay, second card, finances and wealth, strength, and, and it's all about stability. This is the card of strength. He's just ripping that fish net apart with his bare hands and freeing all the fish. I love it. Okay, so um, this card has shown up twice in a row. In the reading I just did before this for Virgo and now for you, I got a sneaky suspicion it's going to show up another half dozen times. It's Sometimes that happens. You'll get one card of 78 that repeatedly shows itself. The spirit in the universe is trying to really push a message forward for somebody that's viewing this video. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be about patience in the face of conflict. This is card is all about standing your ground rather than standing there and feeling overwhelmed, saying, oh, my goodness, I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? Just stand your ground and breathe is what you need to do so that your brain can decipher and straighten out all those jumbled thoughts of fear and upset. Remember that what opposes you is lower than you are. So don't let your confidence be shaken by somebody else. Um, and some people will try to project their emotions onto you. That's like somebody intimidating you. It, they're trying to throw all their emotions onto you, so that's a sense of it and a form of intimidation. And don't you run away from that. Don't turn away from it. Don't turn your back to it. Stand there. Hold your head up high, shoulders back, and say, I'm tougher than this. I can take it. And because you're attacking me and trying to intimidate me, therefore you are lower than I am because I'm a class act. Okay? You're a class act, Libra. You've got class you have integrity and, and inside like there's a little part of you inside that is going to feel intimidated but you can't show that you just keep your head up and look them straight in the eye don't look away don't look over their head to the side or down to the ground look them dead 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 in the eye look them dead in the eye you know what'll happen it'll be like it'll be like a ricochet ricochet effect so when they're throwing these intimidations at you it'll bounce off of you and go right back at them and you're and you're going to be floored they're going to be floored and left scrambling for their senses because they certainly weren't expecting that from you at all so anybody that's trying to take money from you 
trying to get you to spend your money, trying to intimidate you and say, well, if you don't invest in this and if you don't put money on that, then this is what's going to happen. Never mind all that. You know what you need and you know what's right for you. If something doesn't smell right, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, then it is a duck. That's an old saying that say, it is what it is. And your gut feelings and your intuition are going to come into play and you're going to say, this does not feel right. This person's trying to make me do something I'm really not comfortable doing, then don't do it. This is all beneath you. You rise above all of that. You can have compassion for that person that's doing that, though. That's really showing a class act. That's hard to do. Really hard to do. But if you can do that, you're swimming right along without missing a beat at all, without missing a stroke. Another meaning of this card can mean literally um, physical, physical, mental, emotional return of vitality and strength growing stronger again. Especially if you've just been through a bad breakup or the loss of a loved one. You will gain this back and you'll be back on your feet. Money flow for some of you right now has slowed down. Mercury is still in retrograde. That slows everything down. We have a, a hiatus or a rest that has been imposed upon us by Mercury because Mercury has been messing around with all communications, all levels. It slows everything down, which is a good thing. It allows the brain to clear itself. But it's like, okay, I've got to take a few days off, so I'm going to put my feet up and I, because I have no choice. Because I can't control what's going on right now, whatever that is. Um, and, and you're going to put your feet up. And while your feet are up, everything else is kind of relaxing too. And that includes up here and in here. And we're, before Metro, Mercury went retrograde, everything was a jumble, a mess, and moving at 150 miles an hour. And now everything is slow right down, including your money fall. Because there's nothing you can do about it. It's not ending. It's not stopping. The flow is just slowed down a little bit. And that's also going to give you some time. As I said, it clears out the energies. The energies are flowing so beautifully right now. So free and so soft and all because of nasty mercury. Can you imagine? So you, you all of a sudden, it's like you're taking this collective. Oh, this isn't so bad. And all of a sudden, the brain starts, the fog is clearing. All of a sudden, fresh energies are coming in. That's not a bad thing. These are good things. New ideas will pop up. Fresh thoughts. Revitalization um, will be wonderful. Um, the advice of this card overall is stand firm and take the higher moral ground because you are being tested. Somebody's testing you. The universe could even be testing you. Poking a bit just to see what you're really made of or to show yourself what you're really made of. Courage, risk, and vitality are the key words for this card. The third card that I pulled for you is the Ace of Pentacles, and it's about prosperity. And it fell in your love and relationship sector, anything to do with your heart. Aces are all about new beginnings, and Pentacles are all about money and creativity. And prosperity is a good card to have. When this card shows up in your reading, Libra, money is coming to you. Some of you may receive a reward or even a gift. Or you may even be left with a new opportunity to invest, to investigate. Um, this is all going to lead to generating. Now, that almost should be in the finance part, but it isn't. It is what it is where it falls. Um, the ACE uh, shows stability. Um, some of you may be packing up and moving into a new home and got a nudge to say some of you were really, really, really excited. I'm getting the giggles here. Really, really wonderful opportunity moving into a new home Something that you daydreamed about for a long time and it's now become reality and you can't pack up and move fast enough and it's something to strongly look forward to. That's a really, really, really good card. For some of you, there will be new cohabitation going on, which means you'll be moving in together with your mate, your, your loved one. Some of you could be getting married and this is your first home together. Some of you have been married for a while, but been living with relatives maybe. Or living in not quite um, the, the perfect circumstances that you were hoping for. You weren't, you're weren't. not comfortable where you are and you've waited for this for a long time. You can't move fast enough. This is wonderful. Um, the card also suggests use uh, money to invest in new property. Well, if you bought a new home, that would be a huge investment. It's slow down. Don't get in over your head. I just couldn't just tell you that. That new home... 
that's more than enough more than enough right now for you libra so just be grateful be grateful for that change in this new beginning in your life because the uh, aces are all about new beginnings take that and embrace it taste it it's delicious it's wonderful embrace it into your life and, and enjoy that you know what because the gratitude will grow from there other things will be brought your way don't worry about that you're not going to just like get into this new property and then all the breaks come up. that's not it this will open other doors and other avenues for you the advice of this card is to maximize your good fortune make your money work for you this is a good time to make wise financial decisions so be very careful um, <clears throat> the universe says that it'll give you enough wisdom to get you through at this time. You won't make too many bad mistakes if you make any at all. <clears throat> Keywords for this card are beginnings, finances, new jobs, success, property, security, and creativity. And congratulations is the nudge that I get for some of you. Congratulations. <clears throat> this is a monumental move in your life. New investments, new property, and a new home happily ever after at the moment we'll say okay so your challenges your challenges for mid-month September are the three of swords and it's about heartache we're gonna go back to the first card on this one with the sadness and the loss and the grief okay so that is connected to that card so your challenges, um, the key, we'll just give you the, uh, the key, the advice is that the universe is telling you to allow yourself to feel the pain and see the truth of the matter. You need to do that, Libra. Remember, everything happens for a reason, and especially this. If someone's passed on, it happened for a reason, it was their time. Breakup of a relationship, the destruction of a relationship. This has happened for a reason. The universe and spirits have something better in store for you down the road. In order for you to handle this monumental thing and this wonderful thing that's waiting for you down the road, you need to go through the pain. You need to be raked through the coals before you get to that point. And there's a reason for that. Although it may not seem to make sense right now, but it will down the road. You and only you will understand the best of that. Um, keywords are heartbreak, sorrow, betrayed, betrayal, loss, affairs of the heart, breakup, and tears. This is the breakup card. The heartbreak card of the tarot but it brings a transient change that you will process and you will heal from this and the positive of this card is that now you will know exactly where you stand <clears throat> many things will come to light and you will see the truth the three also signifies stress and symptoms such as anxiety and fear well if you're going through a death or you're going through a breakup all those emotions are all part of it Libra all part of it but your challenges are to allow yourself to and I always say that um, when people are going through breakups and especially if it if you've done everything you you did it you've done everything right in that relationship um, and you you've uh, <clears throat> find yourself sitting off somewhere in a dark corner going what did I do that was so wrong I thought we were happy I thought this was great um, I thought we were we were really going somewhere I seen long term um, it turns out that is not what the other person was thinking at all um, where it was nothing you, you've got to allow yourself you can't just go on shut down and bump, 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 go on with your life you need to allow yourself to lick your wounds let the pain come out go somewhere for a few days cry let it out what as long as it takes try to get some time alone deal with it okay um, let the tears come let your heart feel the pain it needs to feel. Let your spirit take care and embrace the entity of who you are and the child within you and to console yourself. And yeah, be old. There, there, dear. It'll be all right. Um, and believe in that. But you need to, to baby your inner child for a little bit, to coddle yourself. It just shows that you love yourself and, and you're trying to to soothe away the edges of that pain you're allowed to do that Libra go off somewhere and do that when you come back you're still gonna feel pain 
and sadness because grief has all those stages and you're going through grief. But get on top of the emotional, the worst of it. Then you can deal little by little, day by day. And this too shall come to pass. It truly, truly will. It's all happened for a reason. Have faith in that. Okay. So your fifth card is your message from spirit. It's the high priest. And he represents wisdom. Okay, so when this card shows up, the, the advice is to listen to your inner wisdom, which will guide you to new heights, um, new paths, new beliefs. And some of you may even be looking for a mentor, um, a teacher of some kind. Um, this, the key words are uh, education, traditions, beliefs, ceremonies, unity, marriage, values and authority this card when this guy shows up he stands between the portal between the realm of the divine and mortal man his right hand is open and he's offering you knowledge and wisdom for those of you that are maybe uh because it's this time of the year so this is appropriate that this is showing up um starting new educational pursuits that's very possible university high school um, mature students going back and taking courses to further education, to better the education, to make them more highly employable so that you can you can lift your, your financial status and bring you up maybe even into a different class altogether. So this is a good time for those of you that are planning on doing that. Um, this card can also represent the unity of two people. Uh, for some of you, you may feel restricted by another's traditions. This could be the bringing together, this is a message from spirit, this could be the bringing together of two very, very, very different people from very different backgrounds. And there will be, without a doubt, there will be some struggles in there, some heads clashing, and then some contemplation and reason of thought where you sit down and say, we love each other, we want to be together for the rest of our lives. Our backgrounds are so, so different. What are we going to do about that? You know, one could cross over to the other. You know, if you marry somebody Jewish, you could be, you know, um, become Jewish. Um, same with Catholic or any other religion you become a part of. Or you'll find some way to meld the two so that you don't have to give up what your traditions and your beliefs are. You can celebrate the difference in tradition. Um, that's a wonderful thing. Um, for some of you, celebrate Hanukkah and then there's Christmas. And you can melt the two. Well, wow, what a, what a season that would be. It would just go on forever. And the celebration day in and day out, day in and day out, would just be wonderful. So um, it's not all bad. But you can't you can't say, oh, well, you know, I'm crazy about you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, we're different. Our traditions are, this isn't going to work. I mean, <clears throat> that's not the attitude to have. Find a way to make it work. And you will find a way to make it work. Respect each other's backgrounds and traditions. Always highly respect each other. Even some things for some of you, you'll be going, oh, I don't know if I can get past this. This is a bit much, whatever a bit much would be. I don't want to say because I don't want to pigeonhole anybody. Um, <clears throat> but if you keep an open mind and you remain respectful, the spirit is telling you the accepting of the difference. And not only accepting, but celebrate the differences and find the cool factor in what other people do. They're so different from your own. So, the last card is from the deck of tarot, and I pulled the Ten of Pentacles. This is your significator. Okay, this pentacle is all about money and creativity. Mostly money. Money, money, money. Uh, where's my book? I want to get my book out for that and look that up. Let's see. Four cold is food. And here we go. All right. This card represents abundance, wealth, and gain. It is the pinnacle of prosperity, with material goods at last instead of being temporary. This is a, hap a family home bought and paid for. Wow, we're back to that again. Somebody buying a new house, bought and paid for. Um, some of you that are going to be starting a new business, and what that is is the education factor that popped up here as well. For those of you going back and, and extending your, your education, maybe getting certified or getting your doctorates or BAs or whatever, 
means more money down the road for you. Um, for some of you who will be starting a new business, you're going to get this education to start this new family business. <clears throat> and this is going to be a business that you can pass on to your children down the road. How wonderful. You might find yourself a lucky recipient of a trust fund. Or, or Libra, Libra, a lottery win big enough to last your lifetime. That, my dear Libra, is the final card in this mid-monthly reading for September 2016. What more can I say? This is a wonderful reading. There's some heartbreak in there. Some of you are going through some stuff. But look at the, the big picture. Look at the end of the picture. There's a lot of good things going on. Um, my heart goes out to anybody going through shocking breakups, grieving through the loss of a loved one. My heart goes out to you big time. You will get through this and it will come to pass. Big learning lessons as well. Huge, huge things that you've never had to deal with before. You'll be dealing with. Um, so, Libra, make sure you tune back in for October's reading. We'll see what carries on from there. For now, I'm going to take care of this and get it uploaded so that you can view it and move on from there. Again, my heart is with you. Um, sending you lots of love and light and only good, good things to come to you for mid-month September. For now, goodbye, Libra.